A few weeks ago, I was mentioned in a YouTube video. This video is about a Minecraft recreation of the map from my game Survivor Under Roblox. A few seconds in, I realised I wanted to explore this map for myself. I also noticed that this must have taken months for them to make, and I feel that I owe them a video reaction. This map is made by Mr. Pillager Gaming YT. The link to their map and their channel are in the description. I hope you enjoy. Let's load up. Oh, you can see that it's named Survive the End of Minecraft. That's a fun little play on words. Let's go into it. Whoa. Let the chunks just load in. There we go. You can see we've spawned on the pier. That's a nice start and location. Um, you can see Bloxy Beats over there in the distance. Okay, let's explore this. Oh, a bus. A double decker bus. Outside the hotel. I think that's actually where it spawns at the game. With a little regen pad as well. That's so cute. And it's the same colour as the bus. So you've got seats and, and upstairs. That's so cool. Right. Here we've got the school. The power lines. That's so cool. So yeah, the school. It has RHS on the top, like in the game. So they've even got the whiteboards and the chairs. What's this? Oh, the skate park! I forgot I had this. That was added in an update, that wasn't there on launch. <laughs> The soccer field with the ball that always rolls out. Skate park. It's pretty accurate. Well, it's just a road that way, so let's go here. Into the forest. Oh gosh, the baby guitar. This is very accurate to the game. They look very... <laughs> <laughs> um... I think this is meant to be wheat in the original game, um, not cacti, but honestly that's way more creative than just putting sugar canes. Got the farmhouse here, this is very accurate. Oh gosh, the barn, how did I forget? Oh, the windmill's there! <gasps> Wait, what? The truck? Is the regen button here? Yep, of course it is. Ah, oh, the details, man. <laughs> It looks amazing. Hay bales, see you've got the up upper floor. I trust them that all of the hedges are in the right place. Oh, why did they do this? Why, why did they do put so much effort into this? Mr. Pillager Gaming. <laughs> you put interiors in the house so it's like a menu. House colours look just right. I'm just gonna take a little walk around here. Empty property worth three thousand dollars. <laughs> Mr. Pillager Gaming, you've have done yourself here. This is this is crazy. Whoa! Oh! Oh my gosh! It actually says it. I was I was thinking, hmm, they probably put just put some black wool together. I've been in here. Out of stock. <laughs> That's smart. That's a smart way of getting around that. Uh, I started working on the game on Halloween night of 2019, and I released it in December 2020. Ah, oh, the bus stops! Yes, these these were added in update, I think. Let's take a look at Telmon Peak. Yes, I saw this earlier, the caravan. Yeah, and it's uh, the regen pads. This is so funny. Even the Telmon Peak sign. Lovely as ever. Can I climb up it? Even the light-coloured bit which falls into lava. Hold up. This isn't in the game. It's a really cool cooch though. Minecraft City, population 2. Oh, you sm- Oh, you smart. Oh, they really know the game. In Survive the End of Roblox, there's a population sign which shows the save account. Plus one. The plus one on the population sign actually accounts for the guy who sits in Bloxy Beats and broadcasts the messages at the top of the screen when you're playing the game. It's funny that they included two because it's like, this is a single player server, and also the Bloxy Beats guy. There better be like an armor stand there or something. Oh, they've even got the overpass here. 
in the original version of the game. There was no subway. There were none of these billboards going on. The the car handling was a lot different. If you watch the trailer for Survive the End of Roblox, there's a shot on this road here, and I'm coming towards Telemon Peak, and what I do is I manage to, like, swerve around. You can't do that anymore. It was, it was a very bad system. Yeah, this is very accurate. Even the balconies and everything. Train tracks here, where the train goes into the lava. This little building, just based off that one Shudletsky video. The one with the same music as the Hurricane. That's nice. Oh, it's even got the couches! It's very accurate. Anything else I missed? Oh, the Roblox sign. It says Minecraft on it now. Didn't manage to get it in banners, but that's understandable. It's quite a long store name. A nether portal. And then that's like lava. And yeah, yeah, it's like lava. Is this meant to be Builderman? This was, I think this was the first structure I ever made for this game, the fountain. Oh, nice. We've got a little ambulance there that say Roo Minecraft City Ambulance. Really changed everything. Nice, and the shutters are there, and they look great, and the fountains there, is there one over here too? Of course there is, because this map is too accurate. Limousine, I'm guessing that this is here too, the VGM panel, of course it is, because they don't miss a thing. I don't think this is here in the original game, I can't remember. This mansion was based off a model that the Amazement made. Uh, the guy who made Roblox Titanic, and also the original so at the end of Roblox. So I actually played this game a few times. Once during the development of the game, like very early development, only the neighbourhood was complete, and another time after it released, and after a few updates, we played for a little bit. I really appreciate that you made this in Java Edition and not Bedrock. This is probably one of my favourite buildings in the game. Paintings! Oh, like the old thumbnails that are in the actual game. That's nice. Oh! But what's this? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. You recreated the Easter egg room. <laughs> Alright, let's move on from this area of the city. I guess playground next. And then on the swing set. I didn't even know this block was in the game. Roundabout, the slide, that's so cool. This thing, I thought this was cute to use in a playground. I remember feeling so genius that no one's ever done that before. They probably have. The second store, this was added in an update, I believe. Oh, you actually have stuff in here. It's not out of stock this time. It's like a staple of every disaster game to have them. This garage. This is a nice building. You got this down very well, though. And then, is the bell up here? Bell's up here. It's nice. This is one of my favourite buildings from the game because it's so different. I like this building because it's the only, like, it's probably the only one in the game where each floor is just slightly different. Well, not slightly different, massively different. Ah, oh, there we go. I missed that. Yeah, there it is. Oh, I love this building so much. Now for the tallest building in Roblox City. None of these buildings have names, it's just the tallest. I believe it's tallest by top point, top, top part, but the floor on, the last floor on the Roblox HQ is higher than the last floor on this. Anyway, very nice recreation of it. Even got the top right. The trees leading up to Aqua Apartments. Such nice cues, it's so complete. How did you finish this? <sighs> you furnished every room, I just don't get it. Oh, it even has that. Oh my gosh, I never noticed this. In the game, there's all these um, lights to warn aircrafts. Let's use this as an opportunity to look at the beach, I guess. This is nice. Something's going on here. Since you found this place here, there's an award. This ferris wheel's great. Oh, it's even got the little gondolas too. That's so nice. Mojang! That's funny. Is that Roblox in the original? This building is based off the ones found in Nelly97's game. Actually, speaking of that, 
the Ferris wheel is based off, um, well, at least the color palette's based off ones that appeared in 1997's games. He's drained this game a few times. This building. This building is... This building's really nice. I, it was added in an update. In the original release, it was a big, dull, grey office building that was so dumb and boring. And I changed it into this. I was playing a Roblox game called Stairway to Heaven. I found this building in it. So I recreated it from the ground up, because every building in Survival Under Roblox is recreated from scratch if I've used reference. I added some more green to it. Oh, hold on a second. And of course there's money in here, of course there's diamond and gold, because that's what we can expect from this map creator. No details lost. Gosh, the dam. I, re I really like the dam. Really nicely recreated here. It's funny when it bursts and all of the little water balls come out. A funny thing about Survive the End of Roblox is that there's no particle emitters in my game. Each particle effect is just parts being instantiated on the client. Although it wasn't accurate to how old games treated it, it gives it a really nice feeling. This motel. This motel's really... I, I really like this building. I had a Roblox game called Disaster, and the hotel was originally a model for that game. Um, I based this motel partially off of a motel in a scene from Detroit Become Human, where Kara and Alice stay at a motel before being tracked down by Connor. I thought that motel had a really nice vibe to it, and I liked the colours of it, so I just recreated it in Roblox. The recreation's more accurate in the Disaster version. Bloxy Beats next. I mean, the guy is in there. Is he? Can't go in. But with the power of spectator. Ah, oh, sadly he isn't. Craft Beats. Oh. <laughs> That's... Looks like they ran out of space. Venny's Pizzeria. I, I really love this building. My friend Venny um, gave it to me. So here, this is a Christmas tree, and this is in the original game too. A lot of people ask me, Hey, why has this game got so many Christmas trees? They think that the game was updated to reflect that it was Christmas, like as a special seasonal update, but no, it's always been like this. The reason for this is because the game takes place on the 21st of December 2012. The possible end of the world as predicted by an ancient civilization. We can all tell that didn't happen. I believe it's the reason that the movie 2012 was made, which inspired the original Survive the End of Roblox, which also inspired this Survive the End of Roblox. I also released Survive the End of Roblox in December 21st of 2020 to mark the eight year anniversary of 2012's um, suspected end of the world date. The power plant. This is this 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 recreation is very nice. I really like this. Oh, is the Easter egg in there? Yes, he is. Space fighter boss. Does he say anything? If I hover over him, no. Space fighter boss. Um, I haven't changed his skin. I might do it one day. Probably not. This is this is a really nice recreation of the power plant, though. The path up here leads to the castle. I remember making this. Even got the destruction in it perfectly. Roblox City's tallest building, I believe, in terms of like where the floors end. No jam. I think there's a G missing off there. Oh, they even got the. Whoa. Okay, that's very interesting. Looks like they've used those new yellow signs as the posts, and then these blue trap doors. I think they're from the Nether. That's very. That's very unique. And yeah, the, the colors are spot on. I believe that's 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 really creative. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is where the helicopter comes and gets you. I a, I, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it is. Uh, a lot of people have trouble climbing the ladder for some reason. Um, my response to that is get good. Oh, just, no way. Okay, the helicopter does come from behind this mountain. 
Oh, that that's even where like basically where it spawns as well. Oh, that. oh that's cool. Mine motors step spawn rice. Oh, ride step spawn ride. I, I don't know what the middle one's meant to say. Ah, oh, you've got the normal car, the, the SUV, convertible, and the van. Guess let's look in the Minecraft airport then. Ah, oh, this this is gonna be funny. Let's see. Minecraft Airlines. Teller Air. Oh, it's just like the original. Crafty Lines. Minecraftian Airlines. Netherian Airlines. Don't really want to go on that. Ender's Airlines. Don't want to go on that either. And Portal Airlines. Even the like fast access right here. It's very, it's a very weird layout for an airport, but I was low on space and I'd built everything around it already, I think. Gate two. Oh the plane's here. Let's get on the plane. Very accurate. Oh, this is so cool. You've even got that there. The vent. Oh no way, no way, no way. Okay. What are you doing here? I don't know. Subway airport. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, the train's in this one. Cool. Right, so this is, I believe, southern? Yeah. It's really a apartment style plan. Nah, that's, that's accurate. That's cool. Let's look for some Easter eggs now. And of course, yes, you got this in as well. The, got the lighthouse. Music Joe's not here. Music Joe's a really good friend of mine. Up here, look out on Roblox City. Very nice. Some trees in. Come back. Oh, does it have the sign? Of course it does. Oh, this is so detailed. You want me to do an MLG? Okay, let's get myself in survival mode. Okay, switch it to mouse and keyboard for this. I've locked my frame rate to 60, so this is not going to be fun. And I just did it. Have you heard that? That was my controller vibrating. First try, though. Oh, the, the street lamps work. Very pretty. All correct lighting from the houses and everything. The day-night cycle was added in an update. Probably one of my favourite things I've done to this game is out of that day-night cycle. It really changes it up a bit. Well, I believe that concludes my tour of this recreation of the map. Congrats on finishing this. This, this, this is amazing. More videos should be coming to this channel soon, but nothing Roblox related. I've been hard at work making something related to VR, and I'd like to share it soon. Thank you again to Mr. Pillager Gaming YT for showing me this map and sending it to me. It's so accurate to the games, and I thank you for putting the time in to make this. Good luck with your future maps.